Mr. Speaker, before the session started, you said this would be a year of first downs rather than touchdowns. Um, I'm a football fan. I love touchdowns. Uh, will voters be disappointed when you go out and ask them to reelect you if it is a year of first downs rather than touchdowns? Hey, first of all, uh, the 85th General Assembly is going to be one of the most, if not the most, successful General Assemblies in Iowa's history. Uh, so I think from that standpoint, uh, it, I mean, this has been a huge success for this group of 150 people and this governor. Um, I believe that, second of all, oftentimes in the Iowa General Assembly things have to percolate and they take multiple years. We got a whole lot of things that had been out there percolating done last year. So we're going to put some more things in the hopper and get them going. In the meantime, we're going to pick up several first downs. And I think, uh, I think when we're, we walk out of here, uh, we're going to have some successes and we're going to move the state forward. I think the speaker's right. This General Assembly is going to go down in history as one of the one of the most successful. Um, and and what makes it even even more amazing is is it's a Republican House and a Democratic Senate. And we accomplished things. I've talked to national audiences about about what we accomplished last year at the end of last session. The the compromises we put together and 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 their first reaction is, well, gee, it must be great to come from a state where one party controls everything. And then I point out, no, it's divided government in Iowa, and we were able to accomplish all of those things, partly because because the speaker and I in our own caucuses said, let's not be like Washington, D.C. Let's, let's seek ways to solve Iowa's problems and face them. And we faced a heck of a lot of problems this General Assembly.